To install Electron for development on our machine, first let's create a package.json. We'll run npm init and pass the Y flag to get all the defaults. Then let's run npm install electron save dash dev. Now let's add an npm start script for launching our app. We'll open package.json in the scripts field here. We'll add start. We execute our application with electron. And we'll pass index.js, which will be the entry point for our application. Let's, let's create index.js now. Let's require app and browser window from Electron. We'll also require path from Node.js core. We'll also create a reference to our main window up here. We define it up here at the top level so that it never goes out of scope in a function closure. If it does go out of scope, we risk having our browser window garbage collected and destroyed. The app module in Electron exposes various application lifecycle events. So we'll define an on ready handler for our application. And here we'll create our browser window. We can't create our browser window instance before this event has been called. Let's tell our browser window to load an HTML file. So we'll call main window load URL and we'll use path.join to construct an absolute file path to our file. We'll pass the file protocol because it's a local HTML file. Then we'll pass the dir name variable, which is a string that represents our current working directory. This is passed to every Node.js module automatically. And then we'll pass index.html, which will be our file name. Next, let's add our HTML file. Let's create our index.html. And we'll just add some quick dummy HTML here. OK, let's test it out and make sure it works. We'll run our start script with npm run start. And here it is. It's working. This is the browser window that we created. And this is, this is created in the main process. And then this is the HTML file that we created. We can see our HTML is getting loaded. And that's getting run in the renderer process.